All right, welcome to Six Skills, July 7th, 2022. Uh, the notes are in uh, the chat. If you want to open them up and add topics, please feel free to and add yourself also as attendee. Okay, um, today uh, let's start like we usually do. Let's take a look at the periodic job. Um, I took a quick look at this earlier. This is all really good to see. Um, we're starting to get back to consistently green, which is really good. Um, so I guess the, we've gotten over those memory issues and we're starting to get to um, getting back to what we like to see. Um, and we're not going over any of the thresholds, which is good. Um, yeah, this is all really good. It looks good. Uh, so our thresholds uh, are 45 for our P50. We're at 20, which has been about the same. Not P95 at 29. This is also looking really good. On the P90, yeah, this is a really good test. 29 was the the slowest, the worst case. It's really good. Um, usually, it's about in the 30s and the 40s ish, high 30s, low 40s. Um, uh, our patch counts also well within our thresholds and update counts all with well within thresholds. So all it looks, all looks really good. Okay, um, let's go to the, um, the, let's see, where's the, uh, we have our pre-submit job, which should also look just the same. Okay, better. Unless before, but a few failures. Probably, um, probably doesn't have to do with us, is my guess. This is probably something outside our control, but let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like Basil Dyer. Okay. Um, and then let's see, let's go to the um, dedicated cluster. Okay, still failures here. I think this is just the, we're still in that same place where we need to handle the cleanup properly. I think it's just where we are on this. So I think that's expected. And there's a job completing and then Looks like, hmm, I don't see the error. This all looks fine here. 400 uh, pods. We don't have thresholds for these, but I'll have to add that at some point. Um, and then, okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, so here was a, so there's still, yeah, it's just the make, the make clean function is just what's airing us out. So we just need once I think Lay, you have that would that work? So once um I think once we have that in, we should that'll this should go away. Okay, um, and then our hundred density test. Okay, looks great. This is I think uh, what we expected. We don't see that cleanup issue on the hundred density test, but everything looks good here. Okay, good. Um, Okay, that looks good. Okay, um, one uh, let's uh, one topic that I want to bring up for today. There's um, make everyone aware of. There's a we had, there's an increase in memory overhead um, that is just went into master. Um, this is something I, I we're gonna need to investigate and create an issue around this and and look to fix. So the uh, this issue we have seen previously. Uh, well, not the issue. The the memory increase is something that has been done. Um, Previously, uh, it was, I don't know exactly how much it was increased, but whatever it was, it affected our jobs and we had to increase the memory in all our jobs. What this um, PR is saying is that um, the, that, uh, that increase previously was based on some tests and some estimates. And after um, some more testing over time, 
uh, that the author noticed that um, the amount of memory that they originally had allocated was not enough. And that um, over time, the actual BERT launcher takes oh, a, a variable amount of memory, sometimes more. It looks like even sometimes less. Um, but the key thing is that we have to account for more because we don't want BERT launcher to get unkilled um, because it's you know it's over the amount of allocated memory it's gone and we don't want to kill the VM and and so the we need to increase the amount of memory for the VM launcher just to make sure we don't run into this problem. Um, but it's this is an interesting experiment because you know we don't know why this is the case and um, yeah this is going to take some digging. Uh, so I I'm not really sure, but th this is just something that I want to bring up for everyone to be aware of that going into master there's um, uh, there's this change that increases memory. I think it's, let me see if he's got it in here for how much it increases it by. Okay, so we're going from another 25 megs we're increasing. Yeah, Ryan. Hi, I'm Federico. Um, hey, Federico. Um, yeah. Um, oh, uh, yeah, you're the author. SPR, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I am the one. Uh, yeah, that, uh, um, uh, this PR, uh, was born because uh, um, we see that uh, um, the RSS uh, that with the launcher, uh, the, the, the RSS increase. Uh, initially, it seems to uh, increase uh, constantly, uh, but and we think that we have um, a memory leak. But uh, okay. after uh, a deeper test and uh, a uh, long, uh, long time test. Uh, we saw that there are there is no memory leak. Also, because we are uh, we have uh, tried uh, with Piprof to see if uh, we have a memory leak, and uh, it seems that um, there is no memory leak. Okay, and uh, um, yeah, we are running this. We are still running this test. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, I've posted. Uh, um, the spreadsheet where we uh, collect uh, the data and uh, graphs, uh, graphics, gra graph them. Uh, uh, in the yeah, there are uh, um, uh, in, at the bottom there are uh, the the graph about the RSS file, RSS unknown, and uh, the RSS uh, entire. And uh, yeah. This is uh, um, this file is not uh, automatically updated, but uh, it uh, will be updated by me, uh, kind of every every morning. So this data uh, uh, are updated to uh, six hours ago. And uh, what's interesting is that uh, um, the RSS file, which is uh, the part of uh, shared uh, shared memory, it's not constantly, uh, it's not constant, but uh, uh, it also uh, has some uh, spike. And uh, in the long range, uh, obviously, it will uh, be constant. Mm, uh, I don't know if you want to go to the one, two, three, four, the graph RSS file tab. Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, now it's um, pretty stable uh, from uh, 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 for, yeah, from about three days. But uh, <clears throat> it uh, it's uh, interesting, uh, in my opinion, to investigate uh, uh, how this uh, who um, uh, affect this. Uh, this allocation, so this uh, amount of uh, uh, memory uh, that uh, Virtuonchar requires. Federico, can I ask you something? Yeah. yeah. On the other tab, I was seeing that you are using Windows 10. We are getting yeah. better results with Windows 11. Can uh, you also include oh, or change to Windows 11 also? Yeah. Uh, Yes, we can, but uh, uh, in my experience, because we have run uh, uh, 
uh, too many many kind of uh, VMs, and uh, the kind of, the, of VMs does not affect the uh, the part of the memory. Mm, okay. But, uh, absolutely, we can um, try to include it. Appreciate that. So, uh, so Federico, um, uh, yeah. so why, so can you walk me through like the timeline? Is this is like, is this a, this orange line? Is this like one VM over time? The RSS file gets smaller. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, consider that uh, when uh, um, in the uh, when it uh, goes down. Uh, it was uh, uh, migrated because there was uh, there was a problem uh, in one node, and uh, it was migrated to another one. In, uh, when you see the the drops, the first drops of the orange line, for example. Okay. So would this is this could this have to do with the node then, and not with the the launcher? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Could I this have to do with the, the could this have to do with the node um, instead of you know with something to do with RSS or the or launcher? Okay, so it, basically, um, what happens is that uh, this is a cluster, a, a bare metal cluster, okay, in which there are uh, uh, three nodes, uh, or three worker nodes, okay. And uh, uh, in uh, in each node, uh, there are two VMs, okay. And uh, two nodes uh, in uh, this uh, in this experiment uh, goes down, and the VM migrated. But then the nodes uh, comes up, and the VMs was uh, migrated uh, again. So uh, if uh, I'm not sure if something changes. Uh, right now, because uh, uh, I'm not pretty sure, but I think that uh, actually there are two VMs per node. Hmm. Well, I, I would I mean, like, wh where I'm going with the question is like, um, I'm just trying to understand like this issue a little bit more. So, like, is it is it what you're saying is that like we are um, you're running a vert launcher right now, and part of your PR is that we need to increase to 100 megabytes. And um, is it's and like I'm trying to just to narrow a little bit, narrow this down, kind of where our search is going to be. Like, um, like what? I mean, I, I don't, I just don't understand. Like, why? Um, what you think? Like, what do you, like? What do you think is the problem that's causing us to need to increase to oh, seventy five to one hundred? Uh, I, in my opinion, I think that uh, uh, it is. Uh, uh, it could be because I'm I'm not sure. Um, it could be uh, the the garbage col uh, collector because uh, uh, for us the garbage collector is a black box. Okay, we, uh, it can runs uh, uh, every five minutes or uh, when when he wants. Probably if uh, the the node uh, is uh, not overloaded. Um, the, the garbage collector will uh, runs uh, not uh, so often uh, as when uh, the the node is uh, under pressure. But um, I really don't know because uh, uh, I, I initially uh, I think that uh, we have a memory leak, but the memory profile does not show uh, this memory. Okay. So by garbage not by bar by garbage collector, you mean like the so the node garbage collector, not like Kubernetes, not no uh, nothing yeah. like this is okay. So so this is yeah, on the node. The no okay. So on the node, you think that because of you know the the kernel is doing some garbage collection collecting, and that's and that's what could be causing us to increase the amount of memory we need. Yeah. Also, because this is uh, the so there are uh, uh, two errors, two, uh, two uh, part that uh, uh, um, uh, could uh, increase uh, the total RSS file. So uh, the RSS file, uh, the RSS, uh, sorry, the, the total RSS 
uh, requested by uh, a VM. Uh, it could be the shared memory or the uh, the memory itself of the of the application. So uh, if you see uh, the the other graph, the graph or of RSS anon, you see that it increases. Right now, it seems to be uh, uh, um, that it will grow uh, uh, infinitely. But if you will see the graph RSS, you will not see that this increasing. So it seems like uh, the two uh, parts uh, of uh, RSS anon and RSS file uh, are complementary. So if uh, uh, if if one increase, uh, the other one will uh, decrease. Because uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, because if um, it's really strange in my uh, opinion. Also, I, I'm not uh, an expert of uh, performance uh, topic, so this is why I, I'm pressing this topic here. And uh, I don't know if uh, we can do uh, something uh, uh, deeper to analyze it. Yeah, I, I, I think, um, so I have, I think, uh, well, I mean, do people have any ideas? Like, cause I, I like for me, like, I, I think, uh, I don't know, I need to do some research into like how we could do how we can do some analysis on the node to really narrow this down to like what we should expect. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I think, I think we'll need to do some analysis. I think we should, um, yeah. I mean, if people don't have any ideas, then I think like we should do like, let's keep, we'll keep this topic around. Like, you know, Federico, hopefully you can join us for a few of these every week. Let's take like, let's write up an issue in Qvert. Let's start, um, I can help populate some ideas and maybe you can too, Federico, as to like how we could do this. Um, yeah. you know, and uh, let's, let's just start, let's start with that. Cause I, I don't like, I think these graphs are really good. Like let's, when you share them on the, on the issue, let's get all our information out and let's, um, let's just start to do some research and, you know, getting some ideas how we can, how we can try and tackle this. Cause I mean, I think right now it's just a little too broad and we don't have, like we just need to get some. We need to get some more ideas on the table for it. Can say like yeah, we need yeah. to look at. Absolutely. Yeah. Consider okay. consider that this test will uh, continue to to run. Okay. Uh, I don't know uh, for how long, but uh, I th I think that uh, if we can uh, leave it uh, uh, approximately uh, forever, it's it's really good. Uh, so yeah. The one thing that is uh, really uh, interesting, uh, uh, if you can, yeah, it's the first um, drop of the yellow and the uh, red line. The first drop mm -hmm. the, at uh, at the beginning, not the, uh, not, not uh, that one because uh, this is when uh, the VM uh, uh, was migrated, but uh, at uh, oh here yeah that one. Uh, there, nothing happens. Okay, uh, but the RSS goes down. So uh, if we can uh, uh, find uh, uh, which uh, um, uh, which was the cause of this one, we can try to uh, uh, to put all the VM in that condition. Uh, uh, so that uh, all the RSS of the uh, of all the VMs goes down, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it seems that uh, the Virt launcher uh, can uh, use less memory, okay? Because it it, it continues uh, continue working, but uh, five minutes uh, previously uh, it will uh, it was using. Uh, uh, 10 megabytes more. I see. Yeah. 
but but yeah, me, I, I, I'm I'm I don't know uh, basically what is the reason. Uh, okay. But uh, yeah, probably. So I think so let's uh that, yeah. it's really yeah it's really interesting i the other thing that i just i still find curious about this is like i kind of separate this graph like you said there's there's live migration in here like before seven one it's like here's node one and here's node two and node two performs fairly well uh like the, yeah. uh, the launcher does pretty well here it really does not do well over here except for like you know this one area where they red and the yellow like you're saying where it's pretty much in line with what node two has so yes. it, which is kind of was this it's also kind of interesting to this. I think like so what would be um I think would be valuable, like I was saying with the issue. I think I think let's take take your grass, let's create an issue. Um, you know, we could tell it like, you know, investigate, you know, why um Bert launcher is taking, you know, more than more an unusual amount of memory or an unexpected amount of memory, whatever, like you know, then on you know, and, and we can explain. Why? And I think like having some, having this graph here and explaining what's like, this is unusual up here and this is unusual on, on this drop. And this is probably what we want to see, you know, on, on the other side. And I think that well, that could be our starting point and let's, we'll need to do some investigation as to like, okay, let's, you know, start narrowing some things down and we can start doing some, um, we can do some different tests and let's just use the issue as our like, uh, you know, the way we can, the area we can track how we're going to investigate this and we'll, we'll bring it up in this call and we'll see how we progress. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, so uh, Federico, I'll, um, I'll send that one to you. Um, you can please create the, the issue here. I'll do this. There we go. Um, Okay, so Federico, yeah, if you can, when you when you have that, um, you know, please tag in here, and we'll we'll start tracking it um, during our meetings, and um, I'll put my yeah. do some investigation in myself and see what I can do, see what I can add to the discussion. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the contact. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, next, let's go to uh, this topic: Qvert six scale improved VM creation latency up to forty x. This is an email from Mars. Marcelo uh, from IBM on the group. Can you open and we, we talk a little bit? Yeah, let me. Uh... Uh, what changes he has done? I didn't find what changes uh, is mentioned. Virtual controller, the four KPS. What are the changes he changed? It's this one. We we talked about this one last time. This was... Um... Yes, but the guys didn't find what are the changes that make these results better for we try here. Oh, here it's it's the it's just this the so like all he did so th there's also there's an important thing to note about this experiment is that Marcelo's mm -hmm. testing is probably different than 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 others and and that's why like so he what he did is basically he found a bottleneck and um, huh? he found a bottleneck by um, because he was able to see at least this is what I think I, I found a bottleneck because of the density that he was deploying his virtual machines and um, the way that he was doing it. And, and, and it, was, it was applying a lot of pressure. And so this led to um, a lot of timeouts and the 2030 QPS bursts that were defaults were way too low. And he explains why they're way too low. So we raised up to 200 and 400 and for, and for that case, he gets a massive improvement, which you can see here. Like his latency was was 20, 22 minutes when at the default uh, QPS and burst. Uh -huh. uh, I think we went down to, um, I think we went to this third line, I think it's the 200, 400. 
Um, and now he's, uh, I think, the third graph. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like in maybe it's in seconds or milliseconds. So it's pretty significant the improvement that he was able to see by by doing this. So I mean, but again, like this is maybe different for your use case. Like I don't know how fast you create VMs and you know they create Kubernetes cluster. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you might not you know, the rate your rate might be different, your density might be different, your Kubernetes cluster might be different. And so you may not have hit this level of pressure that he was able to, to hit here. But the point is that if you are if you are able to generate as much pressure as he was, then um, you will still be able to achieve the same level of performance um, now with yes. this change. Let me explain you my pain. Everybody logging in at 7 a.m. when they arrive at the off seat. Yeah, and, and, and so create like hundred thousand VMs. <laughs> right and, and are you like so in his case like he was seeing that you know like we'll just go to your example you're creating 100,000 vms he's creating a thousand he was seeing that it was taking 22 minutes in, for in some cases for the vms to come up now i i mean are you seeing up do you seeing that level that is it taking you that long for your a hundred thousand vm to, to no come up? because we use ram disk behind that's why but, i would like to, to understand i mentioned on my last uh, on the last call also yeah that's, I, would, I would like to to change it uh, the same way he changed it to see if this is there is an improve because we have that already in our uh road <laughs> you yeah but it's it, yeah i do i i it's not but it's not just that ram disk like he's i don't think i don't know what his vmi um no, oh, sorry, but he, he, the pods, correct? On the cluster. We are reaching like 10 or 10,000 or, or, or at least 1,000 times faster than regular uh, spin of new pods, for you understand. Because these, the PVC is actually RAM. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, but I, I don't think he, I, I don't, I don't, he may not even be using PVCs. Like what I'm saying is that it's sort of apples to oranges. It's not his, your case and his case is different. And and like, you're, you're talking about like PVCs. Like I, I don't think that's what's limiting him because if you see this QPS and burst, this is on mm -hmm. the Qvert side. This is nothing to do with like PVCs is, is all Kubernetes. Like this is, this is all Qvert pod creation latency and, and VM, VM ready latency. Like this is all, all Qvert code here. That, that it's nothing to do with the PVCs and he's and he's running into problems. And so I what basically what I'm saying is like it's it's it does it's not as it's it's totally orthogonal like the the PVCs. It, he's seeing mm -hmm. he, he with his in his experiment he's just what he's seeing with just VMs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because on top on top of the, the, the pods we spin the, the VMs and everything supposed to work better. I'm gonna try that anyway. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, all, all I wanted with, so with this one, all I wanted to just mention is like with this experiment, like you, you to run into this problem, you'd have to get to the equal to the amount of pressure that he generated. But again, like it's, it's the pressure that he generated has to do with the type of cluster he's running, the type of hardware he has, the density, the rate that he creates things. And even just the, the, the um the specs the vmi specs all those things were going to it and and he was able to increase the qps because he was able to hit a a bottleneck and and or he was able mm -hmm. to he was able to notice a bottleneck and he increased the qps and burst and he was able to fix it so i guess the point is like if you are if you ever run into this if you ever run into the uh this um if you're using the default qps and burst that you know right now at 20 and 40 if you generate enough pressure you need to increase it um and and, it'll, and this will go away okay? that's that's the that's the takeaway it sounds like you're not hitting it just yet but so no. which is fine but if uh, if you do increase your scale or your pressure enough then you will need to what was the issue is because he was across only 12 worker nodes and we have 1250 worker nodes yeah yeah so that's what i mean it, you're it's it's different you have a you have a different Kubernetes cluster, a different hardware. You've got a whole different setup. So the, the amount mm -hmm. of pressure you're generating isn't quite equal to his. 
but if you do get there, your QPS and burst will need to be improved. So, I mean, when you, when you take a new Kubernetes, you'll be, um, you'll be fine. He's, he's already taken care of it. So our new, a new Kubert version, he, he's got it increased. So he'll take care of it. So you, so you won't hit this particular bottleneck. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, and then let's see, let me read Romans. Um, so, um, memory usage, um, And then, uh, yeah, this was, um, this one's cool. Like, I, I think this is a really good, we've talked about this previously. This is a really good area that we can use, that we can improve on, like fewer update patch calls, just because of like, it is experiments. I think per VM, it's like, I don't know if it was 50 or something, patch calls um, here, I can, I think he's got it right here um, somewhere. If we just decreased it a little bit, um, uh, I don't see it, but if we just if we just decreased it a little bit, we would probably see um, some some really nice gains. Um, and so in that in that regard, we would just be we'd be able to reduce our QPS and burst, so that um, mm -hmm. we wouldn't need to leave it at at the level it's currently at. And there's also that there's a third issue, which is the um, what was the third issue? It was the one of the um, one of the graphs shows like one of the um, controllers, I think, was was slow. I don't I don't remember what it was. Maybe he's going to link to it at the bottom or something. I don't, I don't see it. But there's a third issue. Uh, oh, here it is the vert controller node work key. This one mm -hmm. that we need to investigate. This is one that we need to do a really we need to do some profiling probably and do a deep dive into figuring out exactly why this is. Um, I did some tracing, but it wasn't really conclusive as to what the problem was so yeah th this is another one we'll, we'll just need some spend some cycles on to drop that qps and burst down so yeah that's cool i mean so anyway that's something that like if it's just something to keep in mind like as one area that you can run into some some slowdowns okay all right i think um i think that's so all much. we had for today really yeah um, Sure. You're welcome. Okay. I think we don't have any more topics for today, everyone. You know, thanks for your time. We'll uh, we'll see you all next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye.